because I was given the chance to have a voice for people that live in my situation that don't normally have a voice and speak out and give our opinions on how the system needs to be tweaked. Because, I mean, you can never really say that the system's broken because then everything's broken. But all systems need tweaking. The same thing happens when you create a video game. You have beta testers. And a lot of the time, the people living in poverty are like a beta tester. So their opinions need to be heard so that the program can run correctly. I think what motivates me is when I see the little changes that we have made, like with social worker training, where we get the chance to go into the colleges and that and speak to social workers that are in training and learning the profession and making it so that they can see it from a um, different point of view from people living in poverty and that and realising that living in poverty doesn't mean you're abusing your children just because you can't get them everything that a lot of other children have. Because I've been in situations where I've had a social worker and they'd come into the house and the first thing they'd do is check the kitchen cupboards to see what food you've got in. But if they come the day before you get paid, then the shopping doesn't go into them cupboards until the following day. But that can be hard to explain to them. But if you go in and train them in the colleges and that first and make them understand that point of view, then people further down the line aren't going to suffer the humiliation of having someone come in and go through their cupboards to see what food there is.